Hi, my name is Lori Alexander and I write for The Transformed Wife. And someone recently asked me if I would do a video about how I please my husband on a daily basis. <laughs> and I think it, it changes through life seasons, like it's different when you're having babies and then toddlers and then older children and then teenagers. And we're at the empty nest um, time of our life. So it's mostly just my husband and I in our home. And so I'm just going to tell you how I, I please my husband on a daily basis as an empty nester. Um, the first thing in the morning when he wakes up, I always wake up real early. I go to bed early and he wakes and he goes to bed late and I wake up early and he wakes up late. <laughs> I've always been that way. My whole entire life I've, I've gone to bed really early and I wake up really early. I've always been an early um, riser, an early to bed. And if I go to bed late, I don't sleep good. So, <laughs> And he loves staying up late. So. Um, it works for us. We're not particular about those kind of things because we know you still can have a good long marriage even if you have different schedules of going to bed and waking up. But when he wakes up, I go up and um, we cuddle and have devotions together and just and he prays. I always read the Bible and he prays and we just talk and um, just have some time, special time together every morning. So that's one time, one way I try to please him. And it's really special for both of us. And then he works in his office most of the day and I'm downstairs. Um, I, you know, I shop, cook, clean, blog, answer a lot of emails and questions and stuff. So, um, but about one o'clock, I always take him up lemonade. <laughs> he likes that, he likes to do that. And then he, we, in our older age, he used to love playing basketball, so he played basketball all the time. But then he, when you get older, it's just really hard on your knees, your hips, and everything. So we walk every day, and um, so and we just hold hands while we walk about 40 minutes every day, and we talk, and we just spend that time together. So that's really nice. And it used to be when we were young, my kids were still in the house before I learned how to be a, a transform wife, <laughs> that we would fight most of the walk. Now we don't. Sometimes we'll get into discussions that I probably need to back off a little bit more, but um, we don't really argue anymore. Um, we just, you know, we've learned to discuss things. I have learned to discuss things without having to be right, having, making him see it my way. I used to, I used to make him want to see it my way because if he wasn't seeing it my way, we weren't in, um, we weren't in relationship. And so that was really bad thinking on my part. He could, you know, he could have a different opinion. He could see things differently, and that's okay. <laughs> so I don't always have to be right. I don't always have to get my way, and so I definitely matured in that area. So now our walks are pleasant. We laugh a lot. We talk for 40 minutes, and then um, I come home and I fix him a big salad. And some, if he wants me to fix him dinner, I'll fix him dinner. But he, since he goes to bed so late, he likes to eat really late. <laughs> so. Um, He'll make himself an omelet or um, whatever, and in the morning I'll clean up after him. So that's the way I please him. It's just simple ways, but um, it, it works for us. And um, so, you know, it's definitely, it was definitely different when my children were little, and, and I wasn't a great transplant wife. <laughs> I'm sure I could do more, but I'm, um, I know, I'm, you know, we're always improving women. We, we're not always where we want to be, even at 60 years old, there's always room for improvement and there will be until the day I die. So that's how I try to please my husband in a day. Bye-bye. <laughs>